Hi guys, it's Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials. Um, this really quick video, I'm going to show you how to. What's going to? Let me just close this down a little bit. I'm going to show you how to um, how to enable IIS and Windows 11. Just be really, really quick. Um, so IIS, you know, Windows Web Server can be handy to um, you know, just to have that up running. So I'm just going to search the control panel here, and I want to click to open that. Um, so let me just change that and small icons just be handier. And we're going to look for programs and features. So let me just search up here. All right, programs and features. So I want to click here. I'm going to click turn Windows features on or off. So there's a few things you want to have a look here. So we'll just give this a second to, to load up. Let me just pause this while, while it's uh, populating. Okay, so we can see this is enabled for it. It's come up here now. So what I want to do is I want to enable this Internet Information Services. So I'll click on that. Let's double check. I think everything looks okay. Let's have a quick look in the worldwide. Yeah, they're all selected. So I think we're happy enough with that. There's a whole heap of other stuff we we can enable here as well. So let me just enable some of this other stuff here. Um, it really just depends, but really just making sure that you have, um, yeah, this IIS um, It's the main thing to have enabled internet information services, uh, web management tools, and um, worldwide web services. Let's click OK on this, and this will begin to do what it needs to do. So let, let me just pause here um, again while, while this gets configured. Okay, great. So we can now see Windows completed the request to changes. Okay, so it's going to close on this and we'll get rid of this. And let me just click the start button and then click IIS. Okay, great. We can see it here. So let me just click um, on it. So you can see now we now have IIS, we now have sites, and we have our default website. Um, so we can now see this is beginning. It, it's 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 up and running, and we can begin to. Um, Use IS so we can start. Let me just open up Edge here and let me just try type in HTTP localhost and let me put in workflows. Yeah, there we go. So we can see we have IS is now running. You now have your default website and um, you can begin to build your website using IS. I do hope that was helpful. Uh, any issues, please do. Uh, comment below and if I can help I certainly will and as always thank you for watching.